Now that spring is officially here, it's a good time to begin a little house cleaning. And tonight, in the first of two parts, consumer specialist Jiyun Lee helps one lucky City TV viewer tackle a mess in her young son's bedroom. Through Breakfast Television and CityNews.ca, we ask people to send us pictures of their messiest rooms, and we've picked a winner, the Warner family. Shh, they don't know yet that they've won a free makeover. Carrie? Hi! We're from City TV. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So we've got a bit of surprise. You're actually our winner. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie Warner sent us this photo of her son's room. In person, it's even worse. This is Nathan's room right here. Okay. Lots of toys. He does have a lot of toys. <laughs> Just look around. It's toy after toy after toy. So is this typical of what we see clutter in most people's homes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. It's dangerous. We all, like, have, you know, fond memories and sentimental yeah. feelings about our child's first little pair of shoes yeah. or even our own little teddy bears <laughs> or whatever, right? And, but you really can't keep everything because of what it does is it takes away from your quality of life now. With the help of professional organizers... 74 and a half. This room is getting a facelift. Not exactly the best birthday present for a four-year-old. But I don't, I don't like it when you don't give me toys. <laughs> <laughs> to help us organize this space, IKEA is generously paying for everything we need to transform Nathan's room. Come on, let's go shopping. <laughs> So we need some shelving and we need some toy storage. Um, the little boy is going to be going to school next year, yeah. so we need a desk area. We can make better use of the space yeah. by rearranging it. Oh, it's been a long day. As you can see, we've cleared everything out. We've already started moving the furniture, but the big transformation is going to take place tomorrow. In Brampton, I'm Jean Lee for City News. All right, Nathan, let's take a nap. CityNews.ca and click on WebWatch. From Kensington Market, Dr. Carl Cavassell, City News. It's time to roll up your sleeves and get busy. Spring cleanup season is here. Last night we showed you our consumer specialist, Jean Lee, helping one lucky City TV viewer tackle a major mess in her son's bedroom. And tonight in part two, the big payoff. The new look is revealed. Thanks to IKEA, crews have been here all day. It has been complete chaos behind these doors. We are transforming a kid's room from mess to organized success. It's been a long wait for four-year-old Nathan. His room has been turned upside down. To tackle the mountain of toys, these professional organizers are creating a ton of storage space. We have homes now for each of the different kinds of things. We have small toys, we have games and puzzles and books. So each time you're using those things, put them back in their home. Hello. After 48 hours, Nathan's birthday present was revealed. Keep your eyes closed. Okay, at the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, wow. So cool. What do you think, Nathan? Good. Do you notice a big difference? <laughs> yeah. By adding new shelves, a new desk, and storage bins, mom can now control each toy that hits the floor. It's a lesson for everyone. Every new thing that comes into your home, letting go of something and having it go out of the home, whether you're recycling it or repurposing it, really think consciously about the new things you're bringing into your home. You know, we don't always need everything. It's definitely a room that he can grow into and keep for a long time. This is fantastic. I think he likes the snake. <laughs> I think so too. That's so cute. And what a transformation. It's a good room. Lots more space. Thank you. <laughs> this would not have been possible without the hard work of Michelle Lynn Goodfellow, as well as April Poppy, and of course, Ikea. A big thanks to everyone. I'm Jian Lee for City News.